I'm sorry about all this, Bruce. We've... Uh, we've prepared a brief damage control statement to make this easier. After I introduce you, all you'll have to do is read what's on the teleprompter. And then I can take it from there. Got my little coronation speech just waiting. Thank you for being so cooperative about all this, Bruce. It really is for the best. For everyone, really. I know it's unfair to ask this of you, but please. Right now, your reputation, your entire legacy, depends on your cooperation. Get through today, and I can help you. I can convince the board to bring you back. It might not be CEO, but it will be something. A step to regaining what you're being forced to give up. You're right. This is my legacy, and the only reason I'm putting up with this charade. Yes. Well, as long as you cooperate, I suppose your motivation is irrelevant. Already then? We are going to make quite a splash today, aren't we? I don't think I'm ever going to forget this day. Beautiful weather, corporate intrigue, a well-deserved comeuppance, a noble hero riding in to save the day. Oh, don't worry, Oz. I'll make sure you remember every moment. Meaning? That's enough, both of you. It's time. Bruce, I'm going to introduce you and then you're on. Please, stick to the teleprompter. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for being here. Wayne Enterprises has always taken its role in the community very seriously. Isn't it funny? And we've all How everything I said to you in the park has come true. Technology. Me? Taking everything that's yours. And that's not even a punchline. No, dear. Not even close. No one's gonna follow you around and take pictures now. It'd always be sad if you were so bloody handsome. You're just a pawn, Oswald. And everyone knows that pawns are meant to be sacrificed. Yeah, perhaps. But at least I get the joy of watching your shocking and surprising descent first. This is just a first step towards making things right. Soon enough, it'll be Cobblepot Industries, Cobblepot Medical, and Cobblepot Tech on tops of buildings, and you, Waynes, will be what you should have been all along. A forgotten footnote. Cobblepot will come to mean the future of Gotham, and Wayne will be a story no one wants to hear. What happens to my company is up to the board. I think you're a little deluded about the type of power you're going to have. All in good time, all in good time. It's amazing the sort of patience I've developed over the years. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did some digging, and you know how old Hill admitted he had your mom and dad killed? I found out why he did it. Oh yeah, and I'll tell you the story, but only if you say, pretty please. It's quite the page, Turner. I'm sure you're just dying to hear it. Just tell me. I have to know. Nah, uh, uh, that's not what I asked. Pretty please. Turns out your dear mum found out what your daddy was up to. Threatened to turn him in, she did. She said she didn't want to be a part of it. Now you can imagine, Hill wasn't too keen on that idea. So he slid a few dollars Joe Chill's way, and, well, you saw the rest, mate. And now, Bruce Wayne would like to say a few words. Remember, enjoy yourself, Bruce. After all, you never know how much time you really have left. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, in light of recent allegations against my family, I have decided to voluntarily step down as CEO of Wayne Enterprises. I was horrified to learn of my father's corruption. I am ashamed of his actions and would like to apologize to Gotham for the pain he has caused so many of you. I'm sorry. That's it, mate.
I have complete faith in the board as they work towards righting the wrongs of the past. Mr. Wayne, are you having trouble reading the teleprompter? My so-called replacement, Oswald Cobblepot, is a criminal, not a businessman. His entire history has been faked. <laughs> oh, very funny, oh Bruce. Oh, my God. No joke between friends. One moment, folks. Try that again, and I'll call security. Gotham is under threat. The children of Arkham will not stop Security! Step back, Mr. Wayne. Oh, that was quite a show you put on, Bruce. <clears throat> My apologies, folks. Please forgive me, Mr. Wayne. Everyone. I, for one, completely understand his behavior today. Nice After statement. All, the press seemed to eat it up. I rather enjoyed it myself. Not that it'll change anything. We can talk about it later. Later? No. This needs to happen right now. Dropped your pen. That's not... I should know. I'm sure some of you remember the beauty of cobble. You feel that? That's the drug taking hold of you. You? You're with the children of Arkham. No. I am the children of Arkham. I think it's time you knew my real name. I am Lady Arkham. And you already know the Penguin. Look at him up there, taking everything that should belong to you. Mocking you, smug, insignificant bastard. He thinks you can get away with it. Because none of them know who he really is. They wouldn't believe you if you told them. And if we could just get one more round of applause for our friend, the man of the hour, Bruce Way! <laughs> Ouch, someone's a little touchy, it seems. It would be so easy to get rid of him. Who else will deliver justice? After his shocking and atrocious display of violence towards Oswald Cobblepot and members of the press, Bruce Wayne has demonstrated a clear lack of mental stability. That is why, regrettably, I made the decision to have my old friend hospitalized in Arkham Asylum. Batman, the children of Arkham, the Penguin. Doesn't Gotham already have enough deranged criminals terrorizing its streets? I believe that Gotham's citizens deserve to be safe, that they deserve to be protected. Even if that means I have to do it myself. With the children of Arkham out in full force, we need him now more than ever. Where is Batman? needed you. Why save me? I haven't actually seen it yet. You've had me wrapped up this whole time. <laughs> Numbed beyond belief. Maybe it's not that bad. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. Oswald Cobblepot. You're the only ally I have in this building. It's important. I need you to be my eyes and ears. All right, I can do that. Keep Oswald out of R&D. Let me know if anything comes up. You're a good man, Bruce.
Please, Selena, I have to tell you how I... Bruce? You should come stay with me. I'll think about it. Dropped your pen. That's not... <sighs> Doctor. Is that my blood? God, I hope it's mine. Arkham Asylum. This can't be happening. Can't be real. <sighs> Looks like someone was angry. Lovely. Decent. You settled? Good. Anything you need? Water, piss, rat poison? I've been asked for rope before. Not really allowed to give it out. I want to talk to my lawyers. You're not in any position to be making demands, rich boy. I have rights. And yours were revoked after you beat Oswald Cobblepot within an inch of his life and landed yourself in here. <laughs> You're not buying your way out this time. Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. Time to meet your neighbors. As you were. You look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. I hope to God there is a hell. I want your daddy to see what I do to you. I am so sick of everyone blaming me for what my father did. I'm not him. Hurting me does nothing. Maybe not, but you're the next best thing, Wayne.
buddy. Oh, buddy. Are you okay? You don't look so grand. More like the opposite. I... Thank you. I appreciate the help. You're welcome. If we don't look out for each other, who will, right? What is going on in here? It's like I told you, Doctor. These creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The new guy is tougher than he looked. Right, buddy? Bruce, is that really what happened? Go on, tell her. Yeah. Yeah, that's what happened. We have a very strict no-fighting policy here in Arkham. If you can't obey that rule, you're going to find yourself in hot water fast. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. <sighs> Us nice guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Safe. And how do you plan to do that? You're hardly the first patient in Arkham Asylum to be attacked. I'm sure we can figure something out. I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? You just call him John Doe. Bingo. <laughs> John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. For There's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! Good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself better. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. Every day. I can't taste anything! I want to taste! <laughs> you gotta be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. Remember the first time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Leland? <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes, well, betting patients to swallow game pieces isn't really how that's supposed to be played. <laughs> <laughs> no, no you, you need to let me go. I have to warn the president. You're trying to kill you me. You don't know the president. <laughs> They don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> Stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Wrong number to this! Stop! I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leland. Take good care. Asylum. <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people 
are crazy. <laughs> but everyone's friendly, mostly. I'd watch yourself around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. And just a little bit, you know, prone to outbursts of violence. Thanks for the heads up. I appreciate you showing me around like this. I'm a giver. <laughs> what can I say? I always try to keep an eye out for new guys. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. <laughs> Ooh, His favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up! Where is the remote? One of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Ooh, I almost forgot. Here. What is this? You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just... just shove off, all right? No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. If that's the way the cookie crumbles... Cookie... Cookie crumbs! That's it! Bruce Wayne. You've got quite a reputation around here. Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style, kid. Guy I walked in here with. What can you tell me about him? John Doe? A lot of folks are scared of him. Yeah? Why is that? Same reason folks are scared of tornadoes. They're chaotic. Unpredictable. Not speaking as a... <clears throat> as a professional. I find his work a bit sloppy. But he's certainly enthusiastic. I'll give him that. What do you want? So what's the deal with that? Well, this one was a homeless guy trapped in a hopeless life. <laughs> this was a woman who just couldn't stop cheating on her husband. This guy wanted to kill himself, but didn't have the courage. All lost souls that I freed from their earthly woes. Okay, yeah, that's enough. Thanks. Sorry, I can't talk right now. I gotta keep my eye on this guy. Hey there, buddy boy. You missed me? I missed you. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. Never anything good on, is there? I was wondering about... It's not lunch yet. <sighs> well, actually, and I it's wasn't... it's not time for meds, either. Beat it. Lewis. That wasn't me. <laughs> not the right key for this. He didn't work. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> That's not how you get out of here. <laughs> you tried it though, didn't you? <laughs> That's... That's hilarious. <laughs> My enforcement squad has already seen great success. 
They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local Skytrain depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears, but this one... This one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. Double-crossing, two-faced. I thought you and the mayor were friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. He is the reason I am in here. I can't believe he did this. Quite the temper on you. I have one too. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. Now, this is good television. Mayor on our rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. Lady Arkham is dangerous. Way more dangerous than you think. Oh, I know a bit about Lady Arkham. Let me tell you. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicky. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? Wait, you know that Vicky is. Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Got your revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot? Publicly and dramatically, something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. Well, that all depends on you. If your information is good, we'll see. I knew I liked you. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. And I can tell there's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. If those cops hadn't dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot punk would be dead. After everything Oswald has done to me, yeah, I'm kind of glad it happened, because he deserved it. Am I glad to see you embracing those feelings. They're very natural. Especially a guy like you, who clearly takes after his father. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Vales killed? I never said he killed the Vales. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, pop, pop. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. Don't try to make this about me. Of course it's about you, Bruce. This is all about you. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic! You see, I know what you really are. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not going to do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. 
Well, sure, but there's no phone. I <sighs> assume I can take care of that. But it's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor. Okay? Just one. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But what's one favor between friends? Sure. One favor, that seems fair. Excellent. We'll have loads of fun. You'll see. All right, tell you what. I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz! Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? Ah! No! No, 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 I don't match him. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now! My skin feels like it's itching. Burning! Need to... Need to get rid of it! Stop! Someone give me a sedative! Run, Brucey! Run! <laughs> Damn it! Call security! GCBD. Gordon, it's Bruce Wayne. Wayne? Aren't you supposed to be in Arkham Asylum? Listen, Gordon, I haven't lost my mind. I was drugged. The same drug the children of Arkham used on Montoya and Harvey Dent. You get me out of here, and I'm willing to testify. Uh, this might help our case, actually. That makes three victims now, and Renee says she's got some new evidence. If you're willing to testify, I think I can get you out of there. Thanks. I have to go. <laughs> oh, Bruce. I have not had this much fun in ages. Let me tell you how to find Vicky's stash of missing drugs. Ask the fails. Quickly, come on. Good luck on the outside, Bruce. I just know you're gonna put on quite a show.